Brian and sorry I was playing on my phone and uh, well the reason is that I got a reason to play on my phone uh, normally I'm not that type of guy but um, yeah this time I received a package from China and well this is a very very nice package uh, I received a laser engraver and uh, this laser engraver is controlled by your mobile phone and uh, well if it's any good Let's take a look. Now, what I received was this. This is the printer, or laser engraver, as you may call it. Um, then some wooden blocks, and you will see later why, well, why you would need them. Um, a power supply, some wood, some cardboard, some paper in all kinds of colors, some felt with a sticky back, so you can use it as a sticker and some colored filled over there and this is what I all received with that laser engraver and uh, well to be quite honest it's a funny little thing and there was something that wasn't included but I'll show you what it is this over here is my 10,000 milliamps battery pack and uh, it's capable of uh, powering anything with maximum 2 amps of power on 5 volt and well this is something that you can use with this laser engraver so uh, you can use of course the uh, supplied power supply but you can also use a battery pack so here I've got my battery pack and this is the cable for my battery pack and I just plug it in in this port there are two ports for USB connection one is to control this machine via your computer the other one is to power the machine and as you can see the laser already starts burning now because this is an enclosed laser and because this is a very small machine uh, I'm not wearing my protective goggles as of now but I will do shortly First I will tell you what you receive and those blocks for example those are to, yeah, to, to, to put it any higher uh, and those materials they are materials so you can engrave with this laser here you will see everything from the top uh, so this is the power supply but I'm not going to use it as of this moment because I got my mobile power supply plugged in and well these are the materials that you can use to engrave and under the laser there is some aluminum board and this aluminum board prevents the laser from cutting into your table this is a yeah a funny laser but what's even more fun is how you connect it to your well, to your phone let's take a look but now the $100 question is which one of these actually means yes I think I choose this one yes that was the correct one so the one on the right means yes and the other one I guess means no and I say connect so here it is this is the app that is for laser engraving and well let's see we can we have can uh, we have all kinds of text that we can insert so let me for example add my name so this is my name and uh, well we can have different types of uh, fonts that we can use which is actually quite nice well let's say that I like this one now if I want to start engraving this then you'll immediately find an error because the last right part of what I wrote is gone so I have to go there again and I have to place the cursor on the end and put two dots there and then when I yeah it, it still misses the A on the end of my name so again 
place another dot over there and it's almost there. So this is not really a correct app, but as you can see, now my name is there and there should be four dots as well, but well, they are not here. So yeah, who cares? Um, if this is what I want to, to send, then in the top here you see send button. So I click on that and uh, now I can say that I'm finished with editing, but as you can see it's partly missing. So it's not completely there yet, but well, let's go there and click on it. And now it is sending it to the laser. And the laser makes a lot of noise when homing, but now it is there. And now I can say in which power setting I want to engrave this. So uh, I want this at full speed because I like it rather fast. And uh, well, don't use complete power. Use like, for example, 86% uh, of the power. And now I'll save it. And here, I have the preview area where I can preview what I'm doing. Uh, well, let's put in some colored paper. So here I've got some yellow colored paper that I'm going to insert under the laser. And uh, well, let's bring the dot to the side a little so I can focus it. Of course, underneath there is a focus button and there I can focus the dot. So uh, it, it, it is a bit, yeah, a bit difficult to do this, but you can do this. Actually, it's, when you're doing it for the first time, it's a bit difficult. But when you're doing it for the second time, well, it's, it's pretty doable. So now I did it and now it's in focus. And now I can ask for the preview area. So where will it be printed? And that will be over there. So this will be the area where it's going to be printed. And when I'm happy, I can just click this tree, which is counting down. And now it stops. And now I can go for start engraving. And you will see that the engraver starts the engraving. And this is on low power because still there is no, no real words here. But you will see immediately uh, when it starts really writing. Here, here it starts. And there you will see that it flashes because there it's increasing its power to write the words on the paper. So this is now completely controlled by my mobile phone. And, uh, well, actually, I think that's pretty smart. Because now I don't need a computer connection. Now I don't need to do uh, strange things with my computer. I can just control it via my phone. And I can power the whole thing with only this battery. Now, as you can see, it did some nice engraving over there. And, uh, well, I have to say that I'm pretty pleased with the result it put out. Now, as you immediately saw, this is not a very fast laser machine. And this is because it's only a 1.5 watt laser machine. And uh, well, that 1.5 watt, I have to say, is the actual power that is on the laser head. So uh, it's really emitting 1.5 watt of, of light. Um, and well, it's not a lot, but it is very nice to do some very nice engravings, as I can show you in the next clip. Because one of the fun things you can do is you can go to your photo library and well select a photo to engrave, like for example me with a cup of coffee. 
Now I can have this engraved in black and white, but I can also choose for a grayscale, an outline, a relief, or a seal. So let's go to the grayscale and see what we can do with it. Well, I think this is pretty nice and maybe the saturation needs a little adjustment. Go over here. So a little less saturated, maybe the contrast needs a little bit of adjustment, like this. And uh, well, we could add some text if we would like to, but nah, I'm not really like uh, I'm not really like putting some text in. So I think this would be a very nice engraving. And let's go to Edit Finished, and now see that it will be sent to the laser engraver. Now, what you didn't see is that this laser engraving took over one and a half hour. And this was on the fast setting. So imagine what happens if you do things on the slower setting. So yes, this laser engraver is pretty slow. Uh, yet I have to say that the quality, of course, well, let's take a look at the quality, because the quality is really remarkable. It makes an outstanding nice print uh, and well it's all done on your app on your mobile phone so you don't need a computer for it you don't need any extras uh, there comes a power supply with the laser but you can also power it via a USB uh, input and that can be a, a spare battery so I think this is a very nice laser engraving for small things. Uh, I think it's pretty nice to, to, to do small things with it. And uh, well, I have to say I like it a lot. I'm sure I'm going to use it. And the great thing is that I'm keeping this because, well, for a full disclosure, uh, this unit was sent to me by GearBest. It was sent to me for free. I didn't have to pay for it and I don't have to send it back. Yet everything I say about it is my own opinion and I'm not paid to, yeah, to make this review or to tell you what, I, uh, uh, yeah, what they think I should say about it. Now, in short, I think that the laser engraver is pretty nice. Uh, it does a nice engraving. I think it's a very loud machine and uh, this is all because, well, they use very, very cheap parts 
uh, to move the printhead uh, from the X and the Y axis. They use very loud motors, uh, they're mm, not really that good in, uh, in making sure that everything is very firm. Uh, I think rather said it, it's, it's a bit of a flimsy design, yet the quality of the prints are pretty good. So it doesn't really matter that it's flimsy. But I have to say, uh, I, I really love the machine because of the quality that it puts out. But yeah, the app, it needs some work. I hope that, uh, that it's seen and that uh, they're going to change the app. Because I have to say, it's not that good. It's partly Chinese, partly uh, uh, in English. Uh, you have to give answers and you don't really know what you are answering because the answer is in Chinese and uh, also I think uh, that it's a bit strange that for some things the app needs your permission to read your contacts and that kind of things and you can un uh, unlink this so you don't need to give the permission to your contacts but it's something which I think is a bit strange. I don't like it if an app asks me for sharing my contacts. Uh, why should I? So, yeah, that's it. Now, um, you have seen the quality of the print, you have seen the quality of the machine, you have seen that it runs from a spare battery, not from the power supply, and that I did everything on my mobile phone. And these are the key points of this laser engraver, that you can do everything uh, on the go. You don't need to be in the house, you don't need to be in somewhere. Uh, you can just use the engraver and well, start printing with it. So this is it. If you liked this review, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, please make sure that you like and subscribe this uh, video. And uh, if you're subscribed, please hit that bell notification because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.